little assembly lube in there just for good measure. This is to make sure that you have enough lubrication in the motor when you first start up. And again, we're gonna put some assembly lube here. And just rub it in there. The top ring, make sure it's about 180 degrees from the bottom ring, make sure. And so that's actually pretty good. Another way to tell is that's 90, you can see if you can consider that to be, consider that to be due north, the wrist pins are due east, due west, and right the opposite of that's due south. So you can totally align your rings perfectly that way. Ring compressor, you get it from Lyle. Uh, ring compressor for small engines, you know, one and a half to three inch. Uh, want plenty of lube on the on the actual rings. I'm going to try to make sure that ring is, the compressor ring is even all the way around. There's little notches here and those notches are keep this from sliding down into the cylinder itself. And then I'm just using some old bamboo and just tap it. You ain't hammering hard, just lightly tap. Don't want to get in the way of the camera, but there are two dots right here. One dot, one dot on the cap and on the uh, piston rod, connecting rod itself. If those two get, if those two dots are not lined up, then you know you have it backward turned around or something. Remember, this is a quarter inch, inch pounds torque wrench with a 12 point socket. You can order this from nrracing.com. I couldn't find this anywhere in town, so I had to special order it. Double tap, that's 60 foot pounds. Doesn't take much to get it to 60. Do that all the way to 170. It's the bottom one. Lube everything up. First of all, there's a little hole here where the, where the camshaft goes. Doesn't have to be all perfect or anything, but just get it lubed up. And then you're gonna just slide it in here into the end of the lobe slot there. You're gonna put your assembly lube over the camshaft itself, just all the way around here. Put some in there, around there, all in here. Just, just, just lube it up. Just don't be bashful or ashamed or anything. There's a dot there, and there's a dot here on the crankshaft, and those have to line up perfectly. If, oh come on, there we go. See that sprocket meets into that groove and those things should align perfectly. Yep, so everything's running smoothly. This is a screw we bought a while back, but this washer came from the governor. One of the washers that were on the governor make a perfect little washer to put here. And this guy's gonna fit right here, should fit up, match up perfectly. More assembly lube. Put, get some down here in this socket. And then go ahead and put a bunch of this on these bearings here. Ooh. So now we'll go back around. That's 17 foot pounds. Now, fellas. Bottom half of the motor is complete. Okay guys, so remember, OMB Warehouse are the ones who chipped in to make this possible, along with some of the contri contributions from you guys. But OMB chipped in $318 worth of parts to make this build happen. If you want to know what the part numbers are, check the description below, because it depends on whether you have the Hemi series, 
or the non hemi series of the 212 predator depends on what part you get that's why i'm not trying to give out part numbers during the video so check them out you can buy it from there tell them damon sent you or tell them that you got heard about it from black warrior lures and that helps us out because we're trying to build a relationship there all right uh i will talk to you guys later